sit tight. We're going to give it a shot this morning. We know that they've been here, so we're just going to hang out and see what happens. Down in here to the right. Down, down in there? No. Sound like straight up that window right there. Okay. Hit him again. Let me cut on it again. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> I know exactly what you're talking about now. I can't hear nothing. <laughs> <It's a boom. laughs> That's what I'm talking about. That was a disaster. Why didn't it go Why off? Did that it, it was a dud. My, oh, my three and a half fired perfect. Maybe been something like that three inch. I tried. She pulled the trigger and nothing. Uh, click. <laughs> I tried my best to stay. Go ahead and get it out of your system now. You can't stop a flop right there. <laughs> Is it dead? Oh, he's dead as me. That's just nerves. <laughs> yeah, yeah, honey, come on. <laughs> Are you all sure he's dead? Oh, yeah, he ain't going nowhere. Ash is on fire this year. I thank Ed for coming with me this morning. He, him and Mary Beth came to tag along. This was, uh, this was Mary Beth's first uh, turkey hunting experience, really. Uh, <clears throat> I'm glad it was an exciting one. This is the first time we've ever actually even had a turkey come in and flog our decoys. We usually shoot them way before they get there, but uh, this one come in. He come in ready to fight. He come in to flog our little Jake decoy, and he even knocked his hand down too. But, uh, Ev, I'm gonna let you talk about this clinch mountain call a little bit. He's the one who actually got this bird to strike this morning. He struck down in under this hill, and I'd say within 15 minutes we had him dead. But 
I'll let Ian talk about the call. I, I just got the call, a guy from Gate City where me and me both live, just a homemade custom call. He was doing some B-roll on the decoys and I thought I'm just going to hit it to see what happens and I cut a couple good times and sure enough he struck down in the bottom. And we cut at him two or three more times and in just a few minutes he came right up the ridge and he said I see him and he came right to us and I actually done the rest at that point. But that's one notch in the clinch for sure. So. Give us a little cut there, you're under pressure. Let's, let's see what you can do with it. I want to see what it sounded like. That's all it takes. All it took. <laughs> he fired, he hammered, he came right up here and we let the hammer down. We had a little bit of a spooky situation. First shell didn't go off, we had to rack another one in it and uh, he kind of started getting a little spooked, but he couldn't give up on uh, this Jake decoy and he came back and wanted some more. So he came back and he got a little more and he handled it. Uh, it's a beautiful day, sunshine, spitting a little bit of snow. Can't ask for a better hunt this morning. It's pretty cold, uh, cold for turkey season for sure. We've had a cold front come through last night. I think we had 20, 25 mile per hour wind. So it's actually kind of crazy we even had one goblin. But anyway, this is the end result of it. We've got another long beard down, another beautiful two year old bird. And I swear this, they, they always just keep getting prettier. I'll never get tired of this. Anyway, this is it. Y'all stay with us. We'll keep bringing you some more hunts and we'll keep uh, trying to nail some turkeys this year. Keep living the high life.